Hello, Robert Kiyosaki again, and this is installment three, and it's my sharing information about what my seminar will be about, how to raise capital, the number one skill of an entrepreneur, to be held May 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 2009, Scottsdale, Arizona. Price is $5,000. So thank you for listening, and I'll share some of the insights I've learned over the years on raising capital. Again, it's the most important skill I have. And just to re reiterate was... In 19, approximately 1975, I came out with this product, and we were extremely successful, but we kept running out of money. The, bit, the more successful we got, the more we ran out of money. So that's when I went to my rich dad. I tried to borrow $100,000, and he chewed me out. He says, why would I invest in a dumb product when you have a bad business? And so that's, that's when he began teaching me the next level of my entrepreneurial education, it's not about the product. It's about how to design a business that doesn't need me to keep raising the capital. In other words, how do you design a business that keeps raising money automatically? And today, the Rich Dad company is cash rich. Cash keeps pouring in because the ability to raise money constantly was designed into the business. And, and once again, this is the diagram. This is the BI triangle. These are the eight pieces that make up a business. When a business is hurting, oftentimes it's because one of these eight pieces is missing. For example, many times people have a great product, but their legal is really bad, or their communication systems are bad, or their audit, you know, their uh, internal order processing is bad, or the manufacturing is bad, or the marketing is bad, and they, or they have bad cash flow management. So part of the three day we'll be discussing, going into depth, how you put a solid business structure together. Because this is it. There's trillions, well, not trillions, but billions of dollars out there looking for a home. But they don't invest in products. And that was my rich dad's lesson. Sophisticated investors invest in a well-designed business. So with that, I'll go into a little more on what we'll be covering on our three-day. And some of you who are familiar with my work understand this. When you look... At a financial statement, let's say this is this is income, expense, asset, liability. Okay. And as I explained in Rich Dad, Poor Dad, your house is not an asset. So basically is most people have a house they think is an asset, but every month is costing them money through a thing called a mortgage payment. That's why they're broke. So what makes a person rich, like what makes me rich, is very simply I have assets such as businesses. I have the rich dad business. Every month, lots of money comes in. I also have real estate. I also have stocks and bonds. And I have commodities, such as I am a partner in oil companies. And every month, the cash flows into me. So this is the model of a rich person. Whether I work or not, money comes in. Okay? And that's what makes me rich. Most people, all they have is a mortgage payment, car payment, uh, college loan payments, and all that. That's a poor person. Okay? So what makes the same thing that makes a rich person rich and what makes a well-designed business rich is that as a sophisticated investor, let's say this is a rich business, when I wrote the business plan for Rich Dad, Poor Dad, this, this company now, is that I had to design in assets. So one of the biggest light, one of the biggest assets Rich Dad has is we are a brand and we license our name. So all over the world, there's about 60 people who every month send me money. It was designed into the business plan. For example, with Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, every month people like in Japan and China and Asia and Europe, every month they send me money. The second thing is every time I write a book, every month money comes in. When I design my board game, every month money comes in. And whatever, what else would they have? Uh, when we have seminars, more money comes in. So every month, 
the business of Rich Dad gets richer and richer because we're constantly setting up more assets. So what makes a, a person rich is the same thing that makes a business rich. So when I designed the Rich Dad company, I designed it to be a rich company. Once I designed this, it was very easy to raise capital. Capital poured in because sophisticated investors, people on the B and I side of the quadrant, saw that I knew how to build a rich, stable company. So today, the Rich Dad company has zero debt and just tons of cash flow coming in, regardless if I work or not. So I hope that makes sense to you, is every month or every year, the Rich Dad company is working to more, add more assets to the business. So in this economic down, downturn, money still comes in. When I designed my Velcro company, I designed a wallet and it was sold. Once it was sold, there was no more income coming in. It was a poorly designed business. and That's why my rich dad didn't want to invest in my wallet company. But the rich dad company, because the rich dad company is building assets all the time, it gets to be richer and richer and richer. So, in final statement, so, so in final, I'd like to point out, so finally, I'd like to point out one more thing that makes a company rich or poor is, is business design. The reason it's hard for most people to raise capital, I don't care if it's real estate or what, is very simply because most people operate here. There is no asset. The only asset is the entrepreneur who's working hard. Like if I own the pizza shop, I have to be there 24-7 or responsible for it. There's no sense investing in it. There's no sense investing in it. The other thing, too, if you have a service business, like remember Arthur Anderson was a huge accounting firm. The moment they had a, a um, ran into a problems with the Enron scandal, the whole business folded. The reason Arthur Anderson went down was because they were a service building business. They were a big business, but they had tons of accountants working for them. And so the problem with a business like Arthur Anderson is their assets went home every night. They had no real asset. So once again, people go home. The Rich Dad Company gets stronger because we really do have assets. People can come and go, but the business has assets and the thing keeps running. The final thing is this. It's the same thing. Ken McElroy, the ABCs of real estate, my partner in real estate deals, his business is exactly the same. So the key to raising money, this is Ken McElroy's company. It's called MC Companies. Ken McElroy's business is in the business of acquiring assets. That's why his company gets richer and richer and richer. Every year, he adds probably 1,000 new apartment units to his inventory. So Ken's company gets richer and richer because MC Corp Company is designed to increase assets. Poorly designed businesses never have any assets. They have huge liabilities. And I trust that makes sense to you. So Ken McElroy's business gets stronger and stronger and stronger because every year he's increasing more assets. The Rich Dad Company gets stronger and stronger and stronger because every year we add more assets. This year we're adding franchising to our mix. We're also, you know, Rich Brother, Rich Sister, the book has come out. We come out with a real book of real estate, et cetera, et cetera. And every one of those products every year continues to send money into our product. So that's an idea of a well-designed business. If you have a well-designed business, I don't care if it's for real estate or making you know, cash flow board games, if it's well designed, investors will put give money to you because this is a well designed business. So that's that's what I'm talking. So that's this is installment three on how to raise capital, it gives you an idea of what makes us different. Again, thank you for listening so far. Even if you do not come, I trust you've learned something by listening to what makes certain businesses stronger than others, why certain businesses are weaker than others. And so, again, the price is $5,000, but there are discounts for people who have attended our seminars before or people who sign up early, and especially you insiders, because you are best guys that we have. 
and so we'll give you a better discount off this price. The most important thing is if you're going to be an entrepreneur, please come to this course because it is the most important skill of an entrepreneur is how to raise capital. Generally, I never repeat any one of these three days. I'm not saying that I won't ever, but generally we don't. So if you're not available on this, you miss out on this one. So I trust you've learned something from this and look forward to installment four, which is coming in a few days. Thank you.